Hello! Today, before we get started on our topic of same area, different perimeter, I thought it would be helpful to review the concepts of perimeter and area. I am using a simulation. I did not create the simulation. It's at fet.colorado.edu. I'll share the link below because it has a lot of amazing uh, simulations for math and science. So let's go ahead and review perimeter using this simulation. I can place some squares on this grid here and we end up with a simple rectangle. To find the perimeter of this rectangle, you could add up the lengths of all the sides. So the perimeter is the distance around a polygon. So we have a length of one here, two, three, for a total of three, and then a width of one. There's a formula to find the perimeter. The perimeter is twice the length plus the width. So if I go one plus three is four, and I double it, I get eight. So perimeter is eight. If these were centimeters, we would say it has a perimeter of eight centimeters. All right, just to recap, perimeter equals twice the length plus the width. So the rectangle we just looked at, the perimeter would be twice the length, which was three, plus the width, which was one. So the perimeter equals two times four. When a number is next to a parentheses, it means multiply. So the perimeter equals eight centimeters. All right, let's review area real quick. So if I put the same three squares up here on this grid, you can see it has a length of three and a width of one. To find the area, we use a formula. Area equals length times width. So to find the area of this shape, we would go three times one, which is three. And if these are centimeters, we would say the area is three square centimeters. You write square centimeters with centimeters to the power of two. So you can see that centimeter, square centimeters are two dimensions. They have length and width. So we're not like perimeter counting the one dimension, the length. We're counting the two dimensions, length and width. And just to quickly recap once again, the area of our rectangle is the length times the width, which is three times one. So the area of our rectangle was three centimeters squared, which we write as centimeters to the power of two. Now that we have reviewed area and perimeter, I can show you how two shapes can have the same area and a different perimeter. So let's make a nice long rectangle over here using exactly six squares. So it will have an area of six. It has a length of one, a width of six. One times six is six. The area of this shape is six square centimeters. Now you notice the perimeter is 14 centimeters. Remember to find the perimeter, one plus six is seven. Double it is 14. You could also count all the way around if you wanted to, but I think it's faster to use the formulas. So we're going to come over here and we're going to use exactly six squares, showing a shape that has the same area. Right? So here we have the same area. I used exactly six squares. The formula for area, length times width, two times three is six. You see here we have an area of six square centimeters, just like the shape on the left, area of six square centimeters, but voila, different perimeter. This one has a perimeter of 10 centimeters. Two plus three is five, double it, 10, 10 centimeters. I recommend that you go on this website, fet.colorado.edu, and try some of these out on your own. You can manipulate these six shapes and find all different kinds of perimeters. Have fun exploring!